Lewis Hamilton was beaten by Max Verstappen in Sunday's F1 Championship decider in Abu Dhabi. Lewis Hamilton reportedly asked Mercedes chief Toto Wolff to withdraw their two protests following his defeat to Max Verstappen in Abu Dhabi on Sunday. The Brit had gone into the day hoping to win the F1 Drivers' Championship for a record eighth time. However, he was beaten to the prize in controversial circumstances with his Red Bull rival reigning supreme instead. Hamilton was on the verge of moving ahead of Michael Schumacher in the Formula One history books with one lap to go. Yet the Brit ended up missing out on glory, with rival Verstappen overtaking him on the final lap to claim a magnificent maiden world title victory. It was a bitter blow for Hamilton, who had led for the majority of the race only to be overtaken during the final stages. A late safety car seemed to change the race, with the FIA deciding that lapped cars could not unlap themselves, which allowed Verstappen to move right behind Hamilton with one lap to go. Dot, dot. Verstappen had fresher, superior tires by the end and Mercedes, despite launching two protests, were left disappointed as the 24-year-old was awarded the prize by the FIA. According to Dutch website F1 Maximal, Hamilton actually asked the Silver Arrows to withdraw their protests following the epic encounter, yet Mercedes appeared to press ahead with their plans to appeal anyway and while Verstappen has now been named champion by the FIA, the backlash is set to continue in the coming days ahead. Mercedes' first appeal was against Verstappen for allegedly overtaking under a safety car. And the second claimed the rules had been breached regarding race restarts following a safety car period. It took the FIA four hours to come to a decision on Sunday, with F1 fans from around the globe enduring an anxious wait. However, it's Verstappen who has now made history with the Red Bull driver winning the title for the first time in his career.